another victim buried. Return to the earth that killed when it shook. More than 2,000 people have perished in the worst Moroccan earthquake in over a hundred years. Most of the deaths were in villages in the Atlas Mountains, where homes cracked and crumbled late on Friday night. The pancaking of these buildings down a side street here in Milai Ibrahim killed 25 people. Three or four are still missing, believed buried in the rubble. And this is a pattern that has been repeated throughout this province. And it looks very often like there's been some kind of airstrike, the collapsing buildings here actually leaving holes as if they've been hit by Russian bombs in Ukraine. But this has been an all too natural disaster. At least three elderly people have been entombed here in the remains of their hotel and a fourth guest is missing. After the quake, Sammy called his parents for a day and a half. It rang out until the battery died too. I'm here just because I have lost two of my best things that I have in this life. My parents, my father and my mother, I have lost them here. His grief turns to anger at the government, as it does for so many here. They have no planification, only they have words. It's a balloon of words, only that they have words. That's all. Aid is arriving, but slowly. In Asni, nearby, authorities tell me that 27 people were killed in the quake and 1,200 lost their homes. So Fatima and her husband have said that when they were in the house, she was in the bath when this series of explosions broke out. They said there was no shaking of the ground. She's saying that it felt like the blast from a Kalashnikov automatic rifle, that this was like a sense that the place had been hit by a war. They had no idea that they were suffering from an earthquake. Luckily for them, they evacuated their family very rapidly. Uh, nobody in their family was killed, but in the village, there was combien? Uh, 27 people were killed. The house is now abandoned. But Fatima led a team of local women to find food and shelter for the homeless before any aid arrived. All the food here, the result of private donations. Many villages here remain isolated, roads cut by landslides. Relief operations will focus on getting to them. Firefighters consider searching for bodies beneath the hotel. Their conclusion is disappointing. Amidst shocks and shattered masonry, it's just too dangerous to rescue the dead. So for now, Sammy's parents will stay buried where they are. Sam Kiley, CNN, in Mulai Brahim.